hello welcome back to this video is Lena here from datalena.com and in today's video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to apply trading signals whenever you get them so i'm actually going to demonstrate this using the oks platform which is what i recommend for um, anybody out there who wants to get the most out of crypto trading so if i just show you a sample here this is what we are going to be looking at i will tell the difference between intraday and the swing trade and how to apply all of this whenever you get them and if you stay to the end of this video i'm actually towards the end of this video i'm going to demonstrate this with the mobile version of it i'm doing this with the desktop version so i'll do that the demonstration with the mobile version of it so that whenever you get these signals on the go you can easily apply them to um, using your mobile phone wherever you find yourself so uh, if you want to be part of my community and get free signals or even the paid signals link will be in the video description to join the telegram group and if you want to sign up for an OKS account as I said earlier I'm, I'm demonstrating with the, with the OKS exchange you can sign up for an OKS um, exchange because there are a lot of things you stand to benefit if you have been seeing my videos and in subsequent videos I'll be explaining more on the OKS platform so if you are new to this channel and you love videos about making money online about crypto trading and investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and if you like this video give it a thumbs up that way you encourage me to you know keep producing free content like this for you so with that being said um i'll need to log into my oks account i've logged in already and once i log into the oks account what i need to do now is to first show you this um, this is how the signals will be coming in the group and then how to apply this so first let's say we are doing this with bitcoin cash let's say this is bitcoin cash trading signals and attached to it what you will see is either the intra trade intraday trade or swing trade so you will see intraday or swing attached to it so when it is intraday that is attached to it it means that that trade will not exceed 24 hours so you will not let the trade even if you are in profit and you are sure that the price is going up and um, don't let the trade exceed 24 hours whenever you hit your target take profit and leave the market and if the market go go, go, go against you please set your stop loss and leave the market so this is what this is simply is and then if it is swing that is attached to it if it is swing it means that this trade can last for more than 24 48 hours the longest that swing trading can go is 10 days um, a lot of persons taking more than 10 days and so on but i recommend 10 days so your trade will last for at least two weeks and so on so if it is swing trade it means that the target could you you know you could hit your target after 24 hours after 48 hours and so on so please take note of this whenever the signal come i'll make sure that either intertrade is trade is attached to it or swings so if it is intraday it means that it will expire that trade should expire within 40 24 hours why if it is swing that is attached to it it means you could meet your target um, after um two three days or there about and as i said earlier swing trade normally takes up to 10 days to hit your target and so on but whenever you are in profit in any of these whenever you are in profit and you are okay with it you can just close and exit the market um so when i send that signals it doesn't mean that i'm the one managing your risks for you and always whatever signals that i'm sending at it is best if you trade it on the futures or perpetual swap platform um spot trading you can do this on spot trading you buy and then you set a limit order to sell when the price hit the target and so on but if you want to make the more out of your crypto trading experience then because what i'm doing i'm going to demonstrate here is how to apply this with um using the features of a perpetual swap platform so that is what i'm going to do and um, i'm not going to show you how to do this on spot i'm not just, just showing you how to trade the features derivative actually so the instrument will come with the ticker of that particular um, coin that i want you to trade and it's always the ticker of the coin against usdt so this time around, in this case the ticker of bitcoin cash is bch so it's going to be bch against usdt and so wh whenever you see usdt or usd they are all the same thing so you just go ahead and pick this on your exchange which i will show you in a moment and then the order will come as buy sell or buy order uh, buy limit 
and or sell limit or buy stop and so on so this i will demonstrate in a moment if it is buy and i said um, buy at the market price just go ahead and buy at the market price of what you'll be seeing which is the entering price if it is a buy limit it means that if the bitcoin cash has not hit this price yet it means that you enter the market whenever it hit this price so in order if, instead of you waiting for when it to hit this price you now use the buy limit to set your order and whenever it hit this price you um the trade will automatically um, be triggered and so on so it could be buy limit it could be sell limit it could be buy stop it could be sell stop and so on so whenever you see that please follow the instruction as i'm going to demonstrate in um just in a moment and then the entering price will be the price the current price or the exact price at which you enter the market and then your stop loss or in other words i would just put stop here or stop loss and so on is when you set this this uh, is what i do and i send to you it doesn't mean that you must set your stop loss at the price that i send to you and that is why i say recommended risk it should be one percent of the capital of your capital or whatever you are ready to risk so always risk one percent of that so you are entitled to manage your risk i am not managing your risk for you so the stop loss can be set wherever you want that to be and then the target in most cases i can set target one target two target three but if i just set target it means that the target three is what i'm set, setting if i don't set more than one uh, one target here i'm setting target three so if you are entering this price at 443 and i'm setting set, set, setting this target to 743 you can decide to set target one to take profit when it is let's say um 500 when he hits 600 and then before he gets to 700 so you can decide to split this yourself and so on in case i don't give you target one target two target three so whenever you're in profit all you just need to do is to adjust your stop loss to the the entering price or the particular take profit first target and so on and with that being said let's jump right into it so with my oks account i'll just go ahead and move over trade and then i'll click on margin trading All right, so once this opens up, the next thing we want to do is first to select the pair and, you know, the type of trade that I want to carry out. So I'll go ahead and click on the pair here. And here we are looking for Bitcoin Cash, um, which is BC. So here we are. And once you type in the pair or the coin you want to trade, you see this will come up on the first step here. We have spot trading and you have all of the options that are available on spot trading and then on the second tab here we have margin trading and under margin trading we have perpetual we have features and we have margin so i, I, I always stay with the perpetual actually and you can decide to do that on features depending on the platform you are using but on oks so i decide to go with the perpetual and under the perpetual i have um these pairs here you see them as um, bch usd perpetual or bch usdt perpetual so you go ahead and select i'll go ahead and select the bca um, bch usdt perpetual so i'll go ahead and select that and once i select that that is the first thing when you get this signal first you go select the the pair that you want to trade and once i select this pair the next thing now is to select the option that i want to trade you have cross and then you have isolated when you trade with cross cross means that you are taking you are risking the whole money you have on your account on your trading account if i have a thousand dollars on my trading account and i go ahead and stake even if it is hundred dollars that i'm trading with i am staking everything that i have on my account what that simply means is that when my account is liquidated when the price goes against me and this is liquidated if i don't set stop loss and my account is liquidated or my trade is liquidated everything i will lose the thousand dollars that i have on my account so everything you have on that trading account will be wiped out that is what cross means why isolated means you are only risking that amount of money that you are trading with so out of a thousand dollars and you decide to trade with hundred dollars it means if your trade is liquidated um if the price goes against you and the trade is liquidated it means that it is only that hundred dollars you are going to lose so these are the difference between cross and the isolated so i'll go ahead and select isolated i always advise people to stay most especially for beginners always stay with the isolated uh, option don't go with uh don't go with 
um, with cross except you know what you are doing and the next thing I want to do here on the next step here we have limit we have market and then we have stop under the under the stop we have advanced limit so basically the trade I'll be sending to you whether it is um, buy limit sell limit or buy stop or sell stop this is where you want to use that for instance let's assume that Bitcoin cash has not hit um was still less than 443 which was the entering price for this trade for this signal all you just need to do is to use the buy limit or other option here so you go and select limit option and then you will now be able to specify your own price and you just go ahead and put 443 here using the limit order and beside this you see where you say bbo bbo means buy at best offer price or sell at best um, um bid price and so on so this is what you have here and you just let this be and you can go ahead and select it if you don't want to and so on so you just go ahead and specify your price here which is what you have on from the signal and the leverage please i don't specify the leverage you are going to use because you are trading perpetual or futures i don't specify the leverage at which you will trade that but since you are the one managing your risk, um, you should be the one to decide what amount of money you want to risk and the number, the amount of leverage you want to trade with. So um, here you see that uh, OKS offers you up to 75x. So you just decide to go with whatever. If you want to go with 1s, go with 1x. If you want to go with 2s, go with 2s. If it is 3s, go with 3s. If it is 5x, go with 5s. If it is 10s, go with 10x and so on and so forth please manage your risks i am not telling you what to do when it comes to leverage so you be the one but normally I advise from one to ten percent if you want to go more please stop at 20 except you know what you are doing but, but normally what i advise is you trade from one uh, one x to ten x and after selecting that you go ahead and click on confirm and you see it showing you 10x and then here let's say you have put in specify the price at which you want to enter the market which is the entering price that is sent to you and then the next thing is the amount of money available margin that is on your account means the available balance on your account in this case this is what i have as my available balance on my trading account and you go ahead and specify what you want to trade with if it is 20 percent of this amount if it is 40 percent if it is 50 percent if it is 100 percent you just go ahead and specify that so if i specify 100 percent it means that i'm going to use the whole amount that i have here to enter this market at this price if it is 20 percent i want or 25 percent it means 25 percent of this money would is what that will be used to enter this um this this market right here at this price so when you see the next option here is buy so if it is buy you are going long which is um, actually to buy here. if it is sell you are going short which is actually to sell here so you just go ahead and click on buy and you will see your trade where you have positions down here you will see your trade open up somewhere here if it is um a pending order you will see where it says open order and under the open orders you have three open orders here so all you just need to do here on the limit market so you just go ahead and select if i select stop because these three pending orders you are seeing that all stop so you just go ahead and click and see all of them pending here so once you do that you see your order pending um somewhere here and if it is to sell you go ahead and do the same thing just specify the price and go ahead when it is market if I don't specify anything here and you see that the price I sent is actually the price you are seeing in the market, it means you are entering at the market price. So if you are entering at the market price, just go ahead and select market and then um, you select your leverage. And once you select your leverage, go ahead and select the price, the percentage of the funds you want to enter with. If it is 100%, 50%, whatever you want to enter with, you just go ahead and specify that. And once you specify that, you go ahead and buy or sell. Now, when it comes to taking profit and stopping loss with the OKS exchange, you see where it says take profit. If you click on it, this will come up and then you see where it says stop loss. And so you can take profit at market price or you can take profit with a limit order. Uh, so you go ahead. If it is limit, you go ahead and specify limit. You will specify when it will be triggered and when the order will be executed. If it is market price, it will close at the market price you specify here. So on the take profit here, this is um, the target. 
so this is your target you just go ahead and put in your target here and then on the stop loss this is what i sent but in order to manage your risks you need to calculate whatever you are going to risk here you calculate one percent of that and then put in the stop loss here so normally this is what i have and you can just put in stop loss and take profit and you go ahead and click on buy or sell so basically that is how simple it is and whenever you have your you are in position and you um, you are in profit all you just need to do is to go ahead and you can just click on close to close all of your trade and you'll be in profit and so on and whenever the trade is placed let me just explain this before we go to the phone version whenever the trade is placed it means that with the amount of money that i've raised here the margin ratio is about a thousand percent a thousand six hundred percent or there about so the total of bitcoin because i'm using 10x leverage as you can see here the buy is 10x leverage i'm trading with the little amount that i've staked here with um, i'm able to trade 0.8 b bitcoin cash so this is what i'm trading because i'm using leverage and the average price that um, i entered the market was this this is when i entered the market and then i'll be liquidated if this market goes against me i'll be liquidated at 395 so this is when i'll be liquidated and right now because i'm in profit the percentage um, the pl ratio is this and then the equivalent of that in usdt is this because i am in profit so this is what it is and then my margin for trading 0 0.8 bitcoin cash is around 34 um usdt so this is the margin that is holding this particular price right here and so on and the same thing happens to the monero the usdt that i'm trading here um the total is this which i'm trading 1.8 and then the margin ratio is this the average price that entered the market was this and i'll be liquidated at this price and the profit right now that i'm making 40 percent of this because i'm trading with the 10x leverage will be this and this is what i entered the market with which is 35 usdt so with this being said let me just jump to the phone version and show you how to equally implement this on the phone as well all right so here i am on my phone so i just go ahead and open up the OKS app So once the app opens up, the next thing you want to focus on is on perpetual swap. You have um, where you see features and then you see perpetual swap. These are the two tabs that where you'll be implementing some of this trade. So I'll just go ahead and click on the perpetual swap, which is what, what I normally place my trade and I'll be asked to log in. So I'll go ahead and log in. And alternatively, if you don't do that from the home page, let me go back to the home page again. If you don't do this from the home page, you can just click on the trade tab here where you see my uh, my cursor hovering here, the trade at the middle here. Just click on trade. And once you click on trade, it still brings you here. So when it brings you here, what you need to do now is first, you will need to select the pair of the currency that you want to trade. Um, and in my own case, what we are trading is Bitcoin Cash, USDT. So you go ahead and select this. And then you go ahead and type in your Bitcoin um, cash here. So go ahead and type the ticker. Once you type in the ticker, it comes up. And as I said in the previous, um, um, in the desktop version, you have spot. It will give you all these options that are available on spot, which is this first one here. Mm -hmm. And then it will give you all the options that are available on the perpetual, which is the second one. And then the options that are available on features, you'd have them all of here so i'm going to trade perpetual so i'll just go ahead and select the options that i have here um, which is b c h u s d t so i'll go ahead and select that and once i select that it pulls up this um, interface for us so just like i demonstrated on the desktop version you go ahead and select after selecting the pair you go ahead and select your um the type you want to trade whether it is isolated or cross you go ahead and select that then the order if it is market if it is limit um or order if it is by limit means you are going to trade with the you are going to enter the market with limit order and then if it is market order you just go ahead and select the market order and when it's market order the leverage you go ahead and select this and then choose your leverage accordingly and after that you now decide if it is 20 percent if it is 10 percent of your funds in your account you want to trade with whatever you want to trade with you go ahead and specify that 
all right so once you specify all these details here all you just need to do is either use the buy or the sell option and then your orders will be placed somewhere here so if you go to so once you scroll down here and you go to the position tab you see the positions if you want to go to the other um other tab you open other tab you just go ahead and click and then you can just scroll up here and go to the stop order and you see all of your order pending there if it is the positions that are open you go and click that and you see all of the open positions here and so on and if you want to do your calculations before entering the market there's a calculator at the top um, right hand corner here so you just go ahead and click on it and you can use this to calculate whether you want to go long whether you want to go short your liquidity price and so on you can calculate all of this and then come back and place your trade so this is how you use this on your phone this is how you use this on the phone and so on preferably if you want to actually advance and make a lot out of crypto trading it is advisable you use um you get a laptop get a laptop if this is what you want to do and earn money get a laptop and then you can always use your phone to monitor these the things on the go and so on so this is how you use the phone you just go on the trade tab and then um, you can start trading or on the home tab you just go ahead and click on features or perpetual swap and it takes you to this interface and then you can start setting up your trade and start enjoying this on the go so basically this is how you put in your trade this is how you enter your trade whenever you get them i hope this video was helpful if you like the video give it a thumbs up that way you encourage me to make more free videos like this and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing to be a part of my community and get free signals all you just need to do follow the link in the video description and sign up for an account and get an oks account get an oks account because there is a whole lot you can benefit from the oks platform and right now there is an ongoing promo where you stand a chance to to win a lot of money you can you know start earning free bitcoin using the oks platform every day you have this tax here you can just go ahead and complete all of these tasks and start earning free bitcoin with the oks platform and as a new user whenever you deposit money you end um like uh, 20 usdt when you buy crypto using the buy and sell tab you earn like 10 usdt and when you trade you earn a lot of money a lot of free things that you can get with the oks platform so if you want to sign up for an account there's a link in the video description and that is it for this video i'll see you in my next video